As a society, we are fortunate to be able to offer a number of awards and fellowships throughout the year. This is due to the longstanding and excellent financial stewardship by ASTMH's leaders. You can see all of these awards and the lists of awardees in the program book and the meeting app, but we want to thank all the committee chairs and committee members who volunteer their time to work on these programs and make these opportunities possible. We rely heavily on you for this work and we're really grateful for the time that you put in. Now the society would like to acknowledge the 2017 fellows of ASTMH. We recognize these members for their sustained professional accomplishments in tropical medicine and related fields. This is a high bar that we set, that is set by the society and, and fellows of ASTMH recognition is available only to members of the society, all members of the society. Will each fellow please stand as I read your name? I ask that the audience please hold its applause until the end. John H. Adams, Carolina V. Barrias Murray, Robert Frederick Bremen, Robert Edelman, David O. Friedman, Mark Cordepeter, Gregory Martin, Steve Meshnick, Danny Arnold Milner, Hira Nukasi, Dauda Ndai, B. Kim Lee Sim, and Christopher W. Woods. Congratulations and thank you. Each year we also recognize international leaders in the tropical medicine field through this very special recognition, the Honorary International Fellows of the Society. These honorees are recognized for their eminent contributions to a particular aspect of tropical medicine and or hygiene. We have five honorees this year, and I, as I announce your name, please stand and be recognized by your colleagues. So going in alphabetical order, our first honorary international fellow is Jean-Jacques Muyembe. Unfortunately, Dr. Muyembe is unable to attend tonight, but I wanna tell you a bit about his work. Jean-Jacques Muyembe led investigations of seven outbreaks of Ebola virus disease in the DRC, and he consulted for the WHO in Liberia during the historic 2013 to 16 Ebola epidemic in West Africa. And after smallpox was eliminated from the DRC in the early 70s, he coordinated research for the WHO on human monkeypox, which correctly predicted that human monkeypox virus cases were not a threat to the eradication of smallpox as feared. So well done to Professor Muyembe, and we'll pass on congratulations to him. Our next honoree is Peter Kremsner. Professor Kremsner is one of the world's premier physician scientists in tropical infectious diseases and global health. He has mentored scores of highly successful African, Asian, European, and American scientists. As director of CIRMO in Gabon, Central Africa, during the past 25 years, he has established one of the premier research and training centers in Africa, resulting in scientific impact and direct public health impact in Gabon. Congratulations, Professor Kemsner. Our next honoree is James McCarthy. Dr. McCarthy is an exemplary physician scientist who built an outstanding translational and basic research career that initially was focused on lymphatic filariasis, onchocerciasis, and hookworm, and more recently on human malaria. He has continued to make important observations related to the medical significance and control of parasitic helminth infections and ectoparasite infections endemic to the tropics, experimental hookworm infection, and experimental human blood stage malaria challenge systems involving both P. falciparum and P. vivax. Congratulations, Dr. McCarthy. Our next honoree is Dr. Jeffrey Shaw, regarded as one of the icons of New World Bishmaniasis. Dr. Shaw began a lifelong commitment of studying the protozoan pathogen, its animal reservoirs, and its sandfly vectors after contracting cutaneous leishmaniasis himself. He was performing fieldwork at the time in Costa Rica, Colombia, and Panama 
under Professor PCC Garnham of the London School of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene in the early 1960s, based through the Gorgas Memorial Lab in Panama. Over the decades since that time, Dr. Shaw has received many awards and honors from the United Kingdom, Brazil, and the United States. Congratulations, Dr. Shaw. Our fifth and final honoree is Shyam Sundar. Dr. Sundar is renowned for advancing the chemotherapy of visceral leishmaniasis. He was a young physician when he witnessed the magnitude of VL as a clinical health problem in Bihar, India. He initiated a treatment clinic to conduct drug trials for VL in Bihar and documented the utility of amphotericin and liposomal amphotericin for the treatment of visceral leishmaniasis. He built the Kala Azar Medical Research Center and led the seminal cl clinical trial of miltefacine and peromomycin to treat visceral leishmaniasis. His studies also documented the utility of the RK39 strip diagnostic test for VL in India. Congratulations, Dr. Suntar. All of this year's recipients have contributed to our collective knowledge, and tonight we thank you and honor you. And now on to a very special honor that has personal and professional significance for every member of this society, the Alan J. McGill, McGill Fellowship. Created in 2016 by the Society's Council in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to honor the life, example, and legacy of Alan J. McGill, MD, FASTMH, our previous president, and a widely respected and recognized leader in the global tropical medicine community, who, as many of you know, passed away suddenly in 2015. The McGill Fellowship provides $50,000 in funding for up to two years to one recipient. These funds will support mentorship and career and or leadership development projects for one member annually in their early to mid careers and serving in low and low and middle income countries with a focus on leadership development in tropical medicine. Much like what Alan did with others, the unique feature of this fellowship is the support of career broadening experiences to enhance professional development and leadership opportunities beyond those that may be traditionally available from within the applicant's home organization. And in so doing, equip awardees to, to assume leadership and mentoring roles in various aspects of tropical medicine. We're very proud to announce our first McGill Fellow is Dr. Pedro Aide, a member from Mozambique. Dr. Aide, will you please join me on the stage? Let me tell you a bit about Dr. Aide. He's an epidemiologist with a decade of experience in the design, implementation, and analysis of a series of clinical trials of the pre-erythrocytic candidate malaria vaccine, RTSS, as well as other studies on the prevention and control of malaria. During his two-year fellowship, in part with the WHO Global Malaria Program, Dr. Aide will become deeply involved in all aspects of malaria elimination and certification led by the WHO in different malarial settings. On behalf of the society and all of us who were inspired by our friend Alan, we are very pleased to recognize you as the first McGill Fellow, the first of a cohort of 20 over the next 20 years. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Maybe he'll get a little less shy in the future. <laughs> Our next honor is the Harry Hoogstrell Medal. The recipient of this year's medal is Willem Takken of Wageningen University in the Netherlands. Dr. Takken, will you please stand and be recognized?
ACME will be honoring Dr. Taken further during its annual business meeting and awards presentation on Tuesday afternoon, but just a, a few comments about you, Dr. Taken, an outstanding medical entom entomologist with over 40 years of experience in basic and applied research on the vectors of African sleeping sickness, dengue, and malaria, and encompassing the translation of field evidence of effectiveness into policy. Congratulations again.